after you've unboxed your brand new Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra or Plus, if you're ready to set it up, you are in the right place. In this beginner-friendly tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the entire setup process step by step so you can get your S25 up and running in no time. Now first what you can do is just press and hold on this power button to turn on your S25. You'll end up in this welcome setup page. You know, first, before starting, I'm going to go ahead in accessibility and uh, I will change the font style so that it will be easier for you to follow up. Now going back to the setup page and then first choose your language, press OK and then press start. Some privacy policy and license agreement, go through all of this and press agree. If you want to set up it using your older device, iPhone or Android, you can tap on those options. I want to set up it manually without any device. Now, although we can skip this part, but connecting to your Wi-Fi network will come handy later in the setup process. Press next. Now, this prompt means that you can copy specific apps and data from other device without transferring the entire phone. I'm going to just press on don't copy, just keeping it simple and as fast as possible. You can skip Google sign in, but I will just recommend you to sign into Google so that you can use it later on your Play Store. Just go ahead, follow the prompts and sign in to your Google account. Scroll down and tap on I agree. Now you can set up a face recognition, finger pin, pattern, pin, password for your lock screen. I'm just keeping it right now and then skip anyway. You can scroll down and accept the terms and condition. Just keep following the on-screen prompts. Press continue. Just go ahead, keep following the prompts one after another. You can either sign in with your existing Samsung account if you have one, or if you forgot it, don't have one, you can just tap on this option and then just skip it for right now. When prompted, choose the display for now and then tap on next. Now you can keep Smart Tutor enabled or disabled, whatever you want, just press next, go to the next part. And there it is, you're all set up. Let's go ahead, tap on Home, and this is the first look of your newly set up Samsung Galaxy S25. Thanks for watching.